What's up, it's Lalo. So I've recently been talking about using the hidden face bones to put the final touches on my character's expressions. So in this video, I wanted to show you where to find them. So I have the Genesis 3 figure loaded into the scene here. And so if we select her and then click her head, and then we come over here to the scene tab and expand her head, you'll see that there are some face bones uh, visible by default, but not really that many. So if we come up here to this little menu button above the scene tab, we click it, and we go to show, show hidden hidden nodes, you'll see that this upper face rig appears in the list. Now if we expand that, you'll see there is a whole nother list of all kinds of face bones that we can use to, you know, for our expressions. And you can actually even use them to uh, kind of get new looks out of uh, characters you already have. And so, Looking at these different bones, um, you'll see a lot of them are named pretty clearly. What you know, you get to get an idea of what they'll do. For example, this uh, this upper right right brow inner bone. You know, you can pretty much assume it's going to manipulate the inner side of her right eyebrow. But there are a few bones here that the naming isn't as clear. Like, for example, this left nasal labial upper. Now, if we click it, you'll see that the manipulator kind of goes to the center of the bone, which gives us a pretty good idea of what it's going to change. But if you really want to see exactly what's going to be affected by this bone, you can go up here to the node weight map brush tool. And if you don't have this, this toolbar on your user interface, you can find it under Tools, Node Weight Map Brush. Now, you got to go to the tool settings, and if you don't have this tab here, just right click here and go to add pane and then tool settings, which it'd normally be right here, but because I already have it open, it's not shown in the list. All right, now that that's open, click the general weights and it'll show the weight map for that bone and show you exactly what's going to be influenced when you manipulate the bone. So now if you click on here, you're going to start painting the weight map, and we don't want to do that. So let's go back to our universal tool here. And then, um, and now you just manipulate this like you would any other bone. You can use your, you know, your manipulator here, or you can go to your parameters and under transforms and, uh, you know, translate, rotate, scale, whatever you want to do. And you'll see that they're just the basic names, uh, X Translate, X Rotate, where normally the bones uh, for Genesis 3 would have a little bit cleaner names like Bend or Side to Side, but it doesn't matter. These work nonetheless. And you'll see, yeah, if you just start playing with them, they'll do different things. See, you know, if I wanted to kind of make her nose wider to try to give, you know, give her a more unique look, I could do that. Um, or, you know, if I'm trying to scrunch her nose up or something like that, I can, you know, raise it up. Just, you know, basically just use them however you would like. That's it for this quick tips video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or if there's any specific topics you'd like me to cover, just leave it in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.